Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favorite horror movies of all time. Um, these are going to be in order, and I'm going to start from number 10. Number 10 is The Craft. I really liked Rachel True in this, and I really I really like her as an actress overall. I thought she was also great in, in the TV show Half and Half. And this movie is from the 90s. I only have two movies uh, on my list that are that are not from the 70s or 80s, and The Craft being one out of the two. And then tied with 10th place is Queen of the Damned with Stuart Townsend. Um, I'm kind of picky in movies overall, and I'm also kind of picky in vampire movies. And this is one of the few vampire movies that I actually liked a lot. I know this movie wasn't got some bad reviews, but I, I liked it. And I had a killer soundtrack. I love the soundtrack. If you like rock music, you'll probably like the soundtrack because it has some of my favorite bands on there, like Korn and um, I think Disturbed and some other ones. And this movie was, um, I don't know when it came, 2002. And Stuart Townsend, he was really hot in that movie as Lestat. I mean, a vampire rock star, that's, <laughs> that's double the hotness. And then number nine is the original Amityville Horror, the one with James Brolin and Margot Kidder, the one from um, the late 70s. This one I've seen many times. I don't know how many times I've seen it. Maybe f four times at least. Really scary movie. And number eight is Poltergeist. The original again, not the remake. I haven't seen the remake yet, but I'm sure I won't like it, or at least I won't like it as much as the original, because I tend not to like um, remakes. There was a few that I did like, like um, The Last House on the Left, Then I Spit on Your Grave. But the majority of the of remakes, especially horror remakes, are really poorly done, in in my opinion. And this I got from a used um, record store near the place where I used to live at my old house when they still sold VHS tapes. Um, it was five dollars, so I still have it from all the way back then. I don't know how long ago I bought this. And then, let's see, number seven. I don't have the movie because it was um, I had to leave it behind when I moved because I had to leave a whole bunch of my VHS tapes behind. But I had Critters, but I don't have it anymore. That one's my seven favorite horror movies, but it's not exactly a pure horror. It's like a horror comedy, but I decided to include it anyways because it's a, it's a little it's a little scary. And that's number seven, Critters. Number six is a Stephen King movie. Let me get it over here. Six is Pet Cemetery. Um, well, with Stephen King, it's hit or miss with him. I like some of his movies, and some of his movies I really don't care for, but this, these are one of the ones I actually liked a lot. And this also cost me $5 used at that um, used record store that I used to go to back in the 90s and early 2000s. This one I probably got in the 90s, like most of my VHS movies, I, I purchased them in, in, in the 90s. And um, the record store was called Record Exchange, and then it was just uh, called The Exchange. They changed it to The Exchange, and they're still in business now. And that's Pet Cemetery. And then number five is another Stephen King movie. It's, can you guys, maybe can guess which one? based on this Pet Cemetery one. I'll just give you a hint. It's one of his older movies. It's Carrie. The original Carrie, not the remake. And this one is, is also this one's made in the in the seventies with Sissy Spacek. And then number four is Child's Play. Gotta love Chucky, right? I actually used to have a Chucky doll from Spencer's Gifts, but that was that was accidentally donated to Goodwill um, when we when we had to move like four and a half years ago, and I was really upset about about that. And I paid a lot for that Chucky doll. I think I paid forty dollars for it at Spencer's. So I have to get, eventually. I'll try to get another one if I can, but I don't know if I'll be able to find um, not to find another one, but afford another one. But they have a cooler one that I saw on Amazon and other websites with, with, where his face is all stitched up and cracked and stitched. And I want to get, um, get that one because that one's nicer than the one that I had.
And then number three is the Friday the 13th films. I also have these on VHS and I got the, this one for 250 at Record Exchange that used the record store. And then here's another Friday the 13th, The New Blood, and Friday the 13th Part 3. And um, I can't really pick one favorite out of the Friday the 13th films because I, like I like too many of them too much. But I would say that I like the ones when Jason finally got his hockey mask, not the one where he's wearing the potato sack over his head. I tend to start liking them better starting on part 3 and up. Maybe like up to part 3, up to Jason Takes Manhattan are my favorite ones. But for now, if I just had to pick one favorite, it would be Friday the 13th, The New Blood, where that um, girl has the telekinetic powers, where she has telekinesis. But in general, like all the Friday the 13th movies um, together. The only, ones that, the only one I really hated was Jason Goes to Hell. I don't like that one at all. I hated that one. And number two is, of course, how can there be a favorite horror movie countdown without the original Halloween? This is a classic. And of course, I like the original one, not Rob Zombie's remake. I like Rob Zombie's music, but I don't like his films, his movies at, at all. Um, Halloween 2 by Rob Zombie I thought was what was okay, but part 1 I, I couldn't stand. So yeah, this one's the original with Jamie Lee Curtis that came out in the 70s. And then my number one favorite, which may, may, maybe some of my um, older subscribers may know, is The Lost Boys. And this is not a really pure comedy, I mean pure horror either. It has some comedic elements in it. So this one's my favorite horror movie of all time and my favorite movie in, in general of all time. And also my favorite vampire movie of all time. <laughs> So yeah, that, that's, my, that's my list. It was hard picking 10. Actually, I added one extra one because I had a tie for number 10. I, I almost did a top 15 list. Some of the uh, other honorable mentions are Halloween 2, Halloween 4, and um, I don't know which other ones. So th those were some of my other honorable mentions. So thanks for watching. Um, let me know or what some of your favorite movies are from my, from my list. Thanks for watching. Bye.